But secondly, how does this brotherly affection grow? How does it grow? Because we are being told here to add it to godliness. In other words, it is one that uh, is, is inevitably you, something you need to work at so that it is growing. Now, part of it is that it, it will grow because of the following realities. First of all, it is the fact that you, you are conscious that you've got a common father. And this is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You also have a common elder brother, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. And inevitably, because of those two realities, you, 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 you relate with this sense all the time that our Father who is in heaven is one that cares not just about me, but also about my brother there and about my sister. And, and this elder brother of ours, who's our savior, who has rescued us from sin, we, we rejoice in him together. We esteem him together. And consequently, we talk together about him. And also, it is this realization that we have got a common belief, a common confession of faith. When um, our elder, Mr. John Chundu, was praying earlier on, he spoke in terms of uh, Burkina Faso and, and that they are only 8% uh, evangelicals. What does that word mean, evangelical? What does it mean? Why should we be bothered about evangelicals there. And then he spoke about uh, some 52% being Muslims. Why should that bother us? Together here, that we should want to be identified with our brothers and sisters, well, there goes the phrase, in Burkina Faso. Well, it's because we've got a common faith a common confession of faith, a common belief that salvation is through Christ alone, by faith alone, by the grace of God alone, and indeed for the glory of God alone. That's our confession, that without that there is no salvation. Individuals go to hell, and consequently that is what we live by. <laughs> 